Now in this experiment, we will see the effect of photocurrent related to this potential at a particular intensity. We have fixed intensity, say 100 watt bulb. That 100 watt bulb is giving certain intensity and because of that some electrons are emitted out. Now these electrons are emitted out and so far we have not given any potential from here. If we have not given any potential from here, is the current flowing? We find yes, current is flowing because the moment, the moment an electron goes out, this has got a negative charge and this plate has become positively charged. When this be becomes positively charged, the electron has gone out. This has become positive, this has become positive, this has become positive and this whole thing has become positive. So, electron minus is attracted by this positive and it moves and it moves there and comes to this positive source. You see, here is the plate A, neutral, electron jumps out. This is minus, this becomes plus. Now this plus charge, we just put in front of it. So this runs to this positive charge. This is what's happening here. So even without applying any potential support from this battery, an electric current starts. We measure that electric current from here and that photocurrent we mark at this place. This is much as the photocurrent. Okay. Now, we connect it to positive plate. See, collector plate is connected to positive. And we start increasing potential. When we start increasing positive potential, there is a pull on the electron, which are negatively charged. So, more and more electrons are attracted towards positive. When we increase the potential, we find the current has increased. The current has increased. Again, we find the current has increased. Current has increased. Increase the potential, current has increased. Increase the potential, current has increased. Increase the potential, current has not increased. Increase the potential, current has not increased. Increase the potential, current not increase, not increase, not increase. Now we find current is not increasing anymore after increasing up to certain value. So we know such situations are coming in the electric current and these situations are known as saturation current. That means there are no more particles available for carrying the charge. So that is saturation current and that situation has come. So we get a graph like this saturation current and this is the saturation current for intensity of light I1 which is coming from there. Okay, now we try another thing. This was natural without any potential, zero potential. Now we change the commutator and in place of positive potential, we start study the negative potential. Now, we are giving it, we are connecting it this way. So, this minus here. Now, this has become minus and this has become plus. What happens? Without giving any potential, there was certain current flowing here. We have given it a negative charge. Negative will repel it. When it repels, we find the number of charges, the number of electrons which we are going reduce, decrease. Why? Some which we are having very small energy, they are repelled by this negative charge and they come back, they don't move. So the number of electrons which reach here are only those which are having more energy. Okay, so what we find that if potential is decreased minus, the current has decreased low. 
if we give more negative potential to this plate the current further reduce further reduce give more further reduce give more further reduce give more negative charge further reduce give more negative charge and the current becomes zero zero we stop there there is no uh, there is no purpose increasing negative potential anymore so there is a value of negative potential at which value the photoelectric current has become zero that we have marked here as v not of course minus now this is our graph complete graph this so at this intensity we have seen the graph of electric current from zero to saturation this is saturation current now this is a particular potential at which potential the current has become zero at this potential current becomes zero this is negative potential okay this is all for one particular intensity and now we change the bulb we change the bulb in place of 100 watt we plus 200 watt and this 200 watt gives more intensity now again we bring this voltage back to zero it is back to zero if it is back to zero and we give here 200 watt many electrons are ejected from here and again according to theory explained this become positive and these electrons are attracted towards it and we find certain current and that current is definitely more than the current we were having previously this so now what happens this current is there and now we increase the voltage start increasing the voltage we make this plus this minus connect plus to this by commuting and start increasing the voltage from here start increasing the voltage and we see that this current goes on increasing 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 and after a certain time it stop increasing and become saturated it will not increase anymore whatever is the voltage now we start with making it negative this negative and this positive now the original current which was flowing without any potential when we put negative there that is repelled and the current decrease now if the current decrease what happens this current become less 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 it goes on decreasing 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 at at one particular negative voltage it becomes zero and we draw the graph we draw the graph on the basis of actual readings and what we find what they found in the experiment that this cutoff voltage is again same for this intensity okay then we try with another bulb 500 watt bulb much more light now let we say let us see whether voltage negative voltage can stop it now we are applying 500 watt here initial when the voltage was zero the current was so much increase the potential give it plus it is supported current is supported more electrons are pulled and we get the current high 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 and after some time that also becomes saturated so this is current for intensity number 3 so intensity 3 is more than intensity 2 is more than intensity 1 here I will write it here intensity 3 more than intensity 2 more than intensity 1 now we make it minus and plus so that we can decrease the current and we experiment decrease the potential current decrease decrease the potential current decrease decrease the potential 
करेंट डिक्रीज एंड दिस करेंट डिक्रीज 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 बिकम जीरो एंड वी गेट द ग्राफ दैट ग्राफ इज ऑल्सो लाइक दिस सो दिस इज द ग्राफ फॉर 500 वॉट 200 हंड्रेड वॉट वन हंड्रेड वॉट द सेचुरेशन करेंट इज मोर फॉर फाइव हंड्रेड ट्रू इट हैज टू बी इट शुड बी एंड फॉर हंड्रेड वॉट इट विल बी लेस सो इन दिस वे वी हैव दीज थ्री ग्राफ्स बट वन वेरी स्ट्रेंज फिनोमिना हैज फिगर्ड हियर वेदर अवर इंटेंसिटी इज हंड्रेड वॉट टू हंड्रेड वॉट थ्री हंड्रेड वॉट there is no flow of electron at this negative potential this potential we have given a name and that is stopping potential because it stops current so i will write it here this is stopping potential stopping potential so for any intensity of light the stopping potential is same if minus 4 volt has stopped the current due to 100 watt bulb same minus 4 volt will stop the current for 500 watt and we did experiment same minus 4 volt will stop the current even if our bulb is 1000 watt and this gives a very peculiar result what is given by the voltage voltage is tension energy negative work done minus voltage that means all the electrons which are released from here either by 100 watt bulb or 200 bulb or 500 bulb by any all the electrons have got an energy which can be stopped by v not whether it is released by 100 watt v not stops it if it is released by 500 v not stops it what does it mean it means that power in first electron and power in the second bulbs electron released here it is same because both are stopped by minus 5 volt that means all the electrons we are having same maximum energy which could be stopped by minus potential that is stopping potential so we can say that 100 watt to 500 watt cannot change the energy of electrons and that was a strange thing if i am changing intensity of light i say energy is increasing but the electrons which is coming out has got the same energy that energy level has not increased so this is one fact given by this part of the experiment so electrons what is the result the result electrons ejected same energy not depend on intensity this is a very important conclusion made by this experiment okay and after that we did another experiment if we change the colors what will be the effect will it be the same type so we did another experiment in that we kept intensity constant and we keep on changing the frequency so in the next lecture we will study what is the effect of changing frequency on electric current and on the stopping potential you have understood what is meaning of stopping potential and you have understood what is meaning of this saturation current you have also understood that stopping potential indicate what 
because it is stopping the electron that means the force from here force from here by negative potential is equal to the potential energy of the electron that means this has got potential energy equal to v naught maximum potential energy v naught and that is why minus v naught is able to stop it if it has got more energy it will defy this minus v naught and go there but it cannot the strange thing is electron emitted by 100 watt or 500 watt bulb have got the same energy no change in the energy so very simply amplitude of the wave is proportionate to intensity of the light if amplitude increase the intensity increase but this shows the energy is same so energy is not related to intensity that means energy is not related to amplitude this is just opposite to what we have been studying in wave optics that is why it's a very important experiment which shows that there is no relation between energy and amplitude of the wave the exact meaning of stopping potential is now added to another feature of the electron which is ejected we know we have studied in gravitation if we put a ball if we throw a ball up to a certain height h and here it has a kinetic energy what is the potential energy here zero and what is the kinetic energy a certain amount when this ball reach at the height h then its velocity has become zero so kinetic energy is zero and potential energy is mgh but what we remember is what we remember is the kinetic energy at this spot is equal to potential energy at this spot where velocity is equal to zero there is a in a motion under the force there is conversion of kinetic energy to potential energy when there is no motion here an electron was going here earlier when there was no potential an electron which was going from here was having certain motion so it was having certain kinetic energy here now when we apply this stopping potential negative stopping potential we say this motion has stopped what does that mean all this kinetic energy has become zero and when it becomes zero when the kinetic energy is totally converted into potential energy or we can say here the kinetic energy was say u and this has made a potential energy here minus u so how much is the energy now zero and see both should be what u that means this has created some energy here on the electron which is equal to the kinetic energy it was already having so because that stopping potential is able to stop it now one electron under v not voltage how much how much energy it has answer the formula for potential electrical potential energy is electrical potential energy is q into v this is electrical potential energy if there is a charge q placed under a potential v then it has energy q into v so what is electrons potential energy here due to this minus voltage 
answer this is equal to E into V naught. If you put it minus E and put it minus V naught, then it is E V naught. So E V naught is the energy of this electron and because of this repulsion, it is stopped here. If we remove this, it will run because it is having kinetic energy. Now, this relates to two things that it is either kinetic energy or it is stopped by this potential energy. So, this potential energy in magnitude should be equal to kinetic energy. Had this been more, then it would have run. If this would have been, this is just stopping it. This is just stopping it. So, these two are equal to each other. So, remember, if an electron which is moving otherwise is stopped due to a negative potential of V naught, then it must be having kinetic energy which is equal to the energy created by this what is E V naught. So, kinetic energy is equal to E V naught. Now, the sum of two energies is 0, the kinetic energy is 0. So, electron stops here, it does not move and the current becomes 0. So, this is importance of stopping potential. This gives us what? Kinetic energy of that electron. So, therefore, kinetic energy of electron. And what is the general formula for kinetic energy? That is half mv square. It is equal to how much? E v naught. This. this is kinetic energy of electron. So, so far. Now, this electron has come out. After coming out, it was having certain energy. Because of that energy, it was trying to run. That run was stopped by negative potential because it created, it converted that energy into its potential energy and how much is that? E V naught. So, it was having kinetic energy equal to E V naught, this. So, stopping potential multiplied by this gives the energy of electron. This is one important conclusion we got from stopping potential. Another thing that this kinetic energy we write as kinetic energy maximum. Why should we write it maximum? See, from here because of this light there are 100 electrons which are released. When we give that potential 0, 100 are running and we get a current equal to 100. Now, we applied minus 1 volt and this has become 90. Why? What happens to 10? Why only 10 stopped? Because kinetic energy of that 10 was very, very low. So, they stopped. Now, <clears throat> again, we applied minus 2 volt and here it created a potential energy compared to minus 2 and we saw that this is 60. Again, we applied minus 3 volt. It has become say 30 and when we applied minus 4 volt, it has become 0. If we apply minus 4 volt, then the potential energy of this electron is maximum. That means if this kinetic energy has become 0, that kinetic energy was maximum at minus 4 volt. Now, at minus 4 volt, this kinetic energy was maximum. Then for these electrons, 10 electrons, why kinetic energy was not maximum? Why it was less? Why it was less for this? Why it was less for this? Why it is maximum for this? The answer is kinetic energy for all of them is not equal 
due to a particular reason and that reason is like this that when we take out electron from the metal the process is this way the light coming here the light brings equal energy the photons of light brings equal energy and they enter it and give it to this electron and this electron jumps out now this does not find any electron here it travels up to this here it finds an electron gives the energy now this electron when it wants to come out it has to go through this path and then come out while going from this point to this point it has to consume certain energy and then it comes out so how much energy it has answer it has less energy than this electron this only work function is spent less rest of the energy has become kinetic here it has spent work function as well as certain energy to cross it now this photon has come here then only it strikes a electron so so much energy it has consumed to come to border and then from border it consumes work function and then it comes out so this has least energy and this has most energy that is why its kinetic energy is maximum and it has kinetic energy minimum now this which has got minimum kinetic energy that means it is moving very slow to stop it it needs a potential energy negative potential energy for the minimum amount and that is given by 1 volt or 2 volt so that part stop with 1 volt minus 2 volt this part stop with minus 3 volt this for this part we have to apply minus 4 volt and that is what we call stopping potential when the last electron stops so that is kinetic energy of the electron but is it kinetic energy of all the electrons answer is no that is kinetic energy of those electrons which are carrying maximum kinetic energy so e into v not is measurement of kinetic energy but which one maximum kinetic energy so the use of stopping potential is that it is a calculation for maximum kinetic energy of the electron which is ejected from this metal please remember this rest we will see in the next lecture the changes of frequency thank you